Once you've added the external workstation to the Nuage Workgroup Manager, it's time to get some audio channels into the main Nuage system so that we can listen to those workstations. Now there are basically two different ways to do this. Each way involves connecting channels to the VST. Once you've added the extra within Nuendo on the main Nuage workstation, uh, there can be many ways that you can connect audio sources. You can use AES Digital I.O., say from a Pro Tools HD system, into one of the Nuage I.O.s. Uh, if you have a secondary Cubase system, it could possibly be hooked up via the Dante Virtual Driver or another Dante Accelerator card, and those Dante channels can come directly into the Dante card in the Nuage system. So whatever hardware system you're using to get the audio channels in, once we get them physically connected to the Nuage system, either via the Nuage I.O. or uh, the Dante card directly, then we have to configure some channels within Nuendo. Once you've added the externals, so there are two different ways to do this. One, we can configure an external input in Control Room that is fed by the external workstation. That way, if we want to just monitor that external workstation directly, we can switch to an external input and listen to the Pro Tools system or maybe the Cubase system and um, have, the works, have the control surfaces operating the mixer within that workstation and use it just by itself. The second and more flexible option is to create VST inputs within the project mixer of Nuendo that are connected to the external workstation. And when we do that, you have some more options available to you. First off, you can have individual audio channels within the Nuendo project that are being fed by signals from the external workstation. This can be helpful if you, say, have a lot of music tracks coming in on a Pro Tools session. They're running in the Pro Tools workstation, and each individual channel from that session is coming into an individual channel within the Nuendo mixer where it's all being combined together. Otherwise, you might have a mix output from the external workstation, maybe say from Cubase, that's coming up on a fader here in the project mixer. In addition to that, VST inputs can also be defined as mix sources in Control Room. And what this allows you to do is switch between different mix sources in, in, the, in the Control Room section without going to an external input. So let's say I have Cubase set up as a mix source. I can go here and select mix source 2, and now I'm listening to the Cubase system in Control Room here. Additionally, I can enact the sum mode in Control Room, and I can listen to both mix sources together. So not only am I hearing the project mixer in the main Nuendo system, but I'm also hearing the output of the Cubase workstation on mix 2. And these two are being combined together, so I'm hearing it all at the same time. So the second option gives you some more flexibility as far as hearing it in the control room or actually having channels within the project mixer and having those signals routed directly into the project. Now what I'm doing in this example is I have a Pro Tools system running on the B workstation and I've set up eight individual outputs from that Pro Tools system running individual tracks out those outputs and I've connected them to eight VST inputs within the project mixer of the main Nuage system. So now when I create eight uh, audio channels here and I put them in input, they're routed to the individual inputs from Pro Tools. Now I have those eight signals right here in the main Nuendo project. And I can mix them here in the main project, even though they're playing back from Pro Tools on the other workstation.